Critical review 22, let's take a look at negative exponents. So the negative rule for exponents is uh, to a to the negative n is this means 1 over a to the n, right? And so 6 to the negative 2 means 1 over 6 squared. In other words, 1 over 36. Negative 12x to the negative 6. That simplifies so that all exponents are positive. So the negative 12 stays there. x to the negative 6 is 1 over x to the 6th. Now you just multiply numerators. So negative 12 times 1. 1 times x to the 6th. So negative 12 over x to the 6th. Anything to the 0 is... Awesome. Thank you. Robert. So we got 1. Then we got 7 to the negative 2. So that's 1 over 7 squared. So we got 1 over 49. On that one, another 14 to the 0. We got another 1. And then x to the negative 3. 1 over x to the 3rd. Go ahead and multiply numerators again. We got 1 over x to the 3rd. Next one, we got 7 to the negative 6 times 7 to the 4. You could do this. Uh, with your um, uh, product of exponents here, so we, uh, since they're the same base, you could add them. All right. You could also do it from the get-go. You could write that as one over seven to the six. So now you got multiply numerators, multiply denominators, and notice you have. Four sevens on the top, six on the bottom. So you're left with two on the bottom. All right, either way works on that. Uh, this one we could use the uh, quotient property. So they're both base x. So x to the four minus seven is x to the negative third, which is one over x to the third. Yeah, another way to, is you could just write this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you see that there's three x's left over on the bottom. All right? uh, x to the third over x to the negative five. Well, one over a to the negative n means is a to the n. Why is that? Because it's one over one over a to the n, and you have to multiply by the reciprocal. And so you end up with a to the n, right? So in other words, this then has x to the third over x to the negative 5. So that's going to go up and become x to the fifth on the top. So now we have x to the third times x to the fifth is x to the eighth. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. Then we'll have you guys try one here. x to the negative 2. So that's going to go down to the bottom. And become x squared on the bottom. Y to the third stays there. On the bottom, I still have x to the fourth, y to the fifth. Now, notice I have x squared and x to the fifth. I'm sorry, x squared and x to the fourth, so I have x to the sixth. And now I have three y's on the top, two on the bottom, so I'm left with a y squared down there. So this becomes 1 over x to the 6 y squared. All right, why don't you guys uh, you can go ahead and put in the chat there your answer to that one. We have 9 w's on the top, 15 on the bottom. So I'm left with 6 on the bottom. And then with the x's, I have 17 on the top and 21 on the bottom. So I'm left with 17 minus 21, 4 on the bottom. So this is 1 over w to the 6, x to the 4th. All right, another way you could do that is you could go w to the 9 minus 15, x to the 17 minus 21. That's w to the negative 6, x to the negative 4. Well, that's 1 over w to the 6. That's 1 over x to the 4th, which is what we had earlier, right? So as long as you're using the properties correctly, you'll, you'll be okay on these.
All right, let's keep going uh, with this one here. Notice we have uh, negative 6 to the third, which gives us negative uh, 216. Got x to the 6, and then we have y squared, and z is being squared. In the denominator, we have 7 squared. Um, and then we've got uh, x, y to the 8th, z to the ninth. So 216 does not go into and 49, so I'm left with the numbers. Can't do anything with those, but how about the x's here? x to the 6, I have 6 x's on the top, 1 on the bottom. I'm left with 5 on the top. Let's go to the y's. I have 2 on the top. I have 8 y's on the bottom. I'm left with 6 on the bottom. y to the 2 minus 8, y to the negative 6, so it's on the bottom there. And then finally, z squared over z to the ninth. I'm left with seven z's on the bottom. Okay, any questions so far? All right, let's put this on Jamboard. You guys go ahead and try this. All right, check your work there. Thanks again. All right, let's keep going here. Fraction rule for negative exponents. So a over b to the negative n. Let's apply what we know already. That's a to the negative n over b to the negative n. Well, a to the negative n will go down and become a to the n. b to the negative n will go up and become b to the n. That's why this is true. So if you want... You can just switch it, b over a to the n, right? Because it's b to the n over a to the n. So however you like to do it. I like to kind of do it slower. So I'm going to take 2 to the negative 2. I'm going to take the 5 to the negative 2. 2 to the negative 2 goes down, becomes 2 squared. 5 to the negative 2 will go up and become 5 squared because 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 5 squared. So now we got 25 over 4. Let's do that similarly for this one. 7 to the negative 2, 4 to the negative 2. That'll become 7 to the negative 2 is 1 over 7 squared. 4 to the negative 2 is 1 over 4 squared, but multiply by the reciprocal, so that's going to go up top. So this just becomes 16 over 49. All right, let's keep going here. We got 9 to the negative 2, x to the fifth to the negative 2. Well, 9 to the negative 2 is 1 over 9 squared. x to the, I mean, the power of a power, that's x to the negative 10. So this becomes 1 over 81. x to the negative 10 is 1 over x to the 10th. Multiply my numerators, and there we go. Let's do this next one here. We got 4x to the negative 2, and then we got 3y to the negative 2. And so I'm going to go that 3y will go to the 2 up top, the 4x to the negative 2 will go down, and we got 3 squared y squared over 4 squared x squared, so we got 9y squared over 16x squared. Let's keep going with this one. And let's go ahead and use that quicker property that says since they're since it's all taken to the negative three, I could just switch these and make it to the positive three, right? So that is a way to do that. So we got 27y to the third over 64x to the 18th. Similarly, so let's, let's do it. Uh, actually, this one I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that to the negative 2. I'm going to take this one to the negative 2. So I've got 4 to the negative 2, x to the negative 6 to the negative 2, 9 to the negative 2, y to the negative 8 to the negative 2. Well, power of a power, negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. 
that's y to the 16th. Well, that's going to go down and become 4 squared on the bottom. And then this one's going to go up and become 9 squared on the top. And that x is to a positive 12, the y is to a positive 16. So it looks like we have 81x to the 12th over 16y to the 16th for that one. Okay, this one I'll, I'll go ahead and, and uh, flip it since it's to the negative 3. So I'll have z to the third over x to the negative 4y. So I flip it and then make it to a positive 3. And we'll, we'll do that one, this one that way. So now z to the third is the third, x to the negative 4y is to the third. So I got z to the ninth, x to the negative 4, 3, and y is to the third. Well, that'll become z to the ninth over x to the negative 12, y to the third. That x to the negative 12 has got to go up, so that'll be x to the 12th on the top. And on the bottom, we'll have y to the third still. Uh, this thing's going to wacko on me again. No. No. Come on. There we go. All right, so let's do a negative four. I'm going to go ahead and flip them. And make it to the fourth. Again, that's not the only way to do it, but that's the way I'm going to do it here. Now that one's going to go down. This one's going to go up. So we'll have... Right. Again, that's not the only way to do that. That's one way. Let's do this one, x to the third, y to the negative five. So x to the third to the negative five, y is to the negative five. On the bottom, I got x to the negative eight, y squared. So I got x to the negative 15, y to the negative five, x to the negative eight, y squared. And let's go ahead and use uh, our... Uh, Property a to the m over a to the n equals a to the m minus n, the quotient of powers it's called. So x to the negative 15 minus negative 8, and then I got y to the negative 5 minus 2. So negative 15 plus 8 is negative 7, y to the negative 7. So this will be 1 over x to the 7th times 1 over y to the 7th. In other words, 1 over x to the 7th, y to the 7th. Again, not the only way to do that, but that's one way to do that. Let's do this one similarly. X to the fourth is to the negative eight. Y is to the negative eight. X to the negative 21. Y to the eighth. So we got X to the negative 32. Y to the negative eight. X to the negative 21. Y to the eight. Let's do this one a little differently. X to the negative 32. That'll go down and become X to the 32 x to the negative 21 go up top become x to the 21 i don't want to deal with these negatives y to the negative 8 goes down becomes y to the 8th i already have y to the 8th down there so and it's positive so it stays down there and now i have 21 x's on the top 32 on the bottom so let's see 32 minus 21 we got 11 i got 11 x's on the bottom and then y to the 8th y to the Eighth is y to the eight plus eight y to the sixteenth. All right, and that's it. Thanks so much uh, for watching. See you next time.